I need a favor. And I'm on duty at the moment. Amy, it's important. So are my patients. Would you stop arguing and listen to me? I need you to run a DNA test, and I need you to do it fast. I was thrilled to receive your invitation. A belated Freilicher by Nachen to you. And you too. The weather may have kept us apart on holiday proper, but now, a gift for my Schatzi. Well, thank you. Uh, do, I, do I open it right now? By all means. I've been waiting a lifetime to give this to you. I can't run a DNA test for you, Maxi. Why not? Well, one, it's against the law. Yeah, so is fraud, and Nathan and I did that for you. It's true, but... And besides, you already work here. Not in the lab. I can't request a test. You need a doctor to do that. And consent forms. No, what I need is for you to run a comparison between a toothbrush and a hair. And what I need is to know what the DNA test is for. It's a cuckoo clock. Craftsmanship. Craftsmanship is beautiful. Thank you. I purchased this in Bavaria when I was pregnant with you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the fantasies I had of our life together. Traveling the world, showing you its wonders. But alas, <laughs> all my hopes were dashed when I realized I had to hide my pregnancy from Victor, give you to Madeline to raise. No better. Now our clock can hang in my Enkelkin's nursery. <laughs> my heart overflows. Finally, we have a chance to set things right. As much as I appreciate the beautiful gift, everything's not all right. At least not yet. If I tell you what the test is for, will you make it happen? No guarantees, but your odds definitely improve. Fine. The test is for Nathan. His mother is... Obnoxious? Demanding? A mad scientist? I was gonna go with Squirrely. It's really unfair to squirrels. Look, Nathan is having some doubts about his family history, and I would like to put those to rest. If this test is for Nathan, then it should be done by the books. <sighs> he would never agree to some backdoor shenanigans. Do not tell me what my husband would or would not do. Finding out the truth about my family really threw me for a loop. And learning that you were my biological mother. Oh, saying biological is redundant at this point, yeah? I am your mother. Plain, simple, true. And I adore you. I know. I know you love me. Like the moon loves the stars, that is how I love you, my son. And I am overjoyed that you and Maxie will let me be an Oma to your little one. Your first test as grandma. Hmm? What is it that you aren't telling me about my father? I love... I have provided the medical information you've requested. Why are you still asking about your father? Those medical records can't even prove that Victor Cassadine actually was my father. Listen, please. If you don't believe that Victor is your father, a simple genetic screening, one you can purchase over the internet, can tell you everything you need to know about your medical predispositions. I will even give that to you as a gift. But your suspicions only serve to hurt me. Please, as your true mother, I ask you, let this go. I would 